I would also like to thank um, the Dean of Mingai, Chung Wen, and her team, who has really managed to put together uh, this, this, what I hope will be a rather amazing uh, event uh, to celebrate the coming of the new year. Okay. I think to kick off the program, we, we have a, a couple of uh, um, spe guest speakers who will just um, make their, their, um, make their, their speeches, okay, um, in order to, to share, you know, their greetings with us, okay. So if I put on my hat now uh, as um, chairman for, 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 for Mingai, Okay, can I just formally welcome uh, Councillor Hu Tian Lu from the Chinese Embassy, Councillor Adam Joji, the Worshipful um, Mayor of Haringey, Professor Nick Beach, the Vice Chancellor of Middlesex University, uh, Father Joseph Liang, Westminster Chinese Catholic Chaplaincy, dear friends of Mingai, fellow board members and colleagues. So again, good morning. And welcome to our virtual Chinese celebrations. Okay, um, I would like to say that as we leave behind a very challenging year and move into a new year, the year of the ox, I wish everyone uh, a very successful year ahead and that better times are ahead. Over the year, Mingai has done everything it could to support not just the colleagues working at Mingai but also our wider community by hosting video conferencing events and activities. It has been, you know, an uphill struggle for my colleagues in Mingai as they had to not just adapt to this virus, but also to take on board the, the new online technologies. And for that, I congratulate uh, everyone there because they've done a fantastic job. Okay. There are also many, many organizations and individuals to thank for the efforts and support, but the list is perhaps rather long to cover every individual, but I wish it be known that our times of need, that during our times of need, many, many people step up. And without them, Mingai too would have been overcome by the pandemic. So thank you for your support. So today we celebrate the Chinese New Year of the Ox, Symbolically, the ox is the second animal to arrive while the first was the rat, okay? And I'm pretty sure you guys are thinking, well, we would rather right to reset 2020, but let us look forward, okay? Because after the ox will come the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the goat, the, the horse, the goat, the monkey, rooster, dog, and of course, the pig as the 12th animal. But each year is symbolic of the promise of things to come. And in the year of the ox, honesty and earnest will prevail. The year, according to my forecast, okay, and I hope I'm right, will be positive, productive, and fair. But it will require hard work. And as the previous year has demonstrated, we will survive. So to celebrate the new year, uh, Ming Ai has organized some singing, some dancing, and sharing of our intangible Chinese culture heritage, such as calligraphy, but alas, no eating, okay? Which has always been the highlight of our gatherings in prior years, okay? Um, I would also like to, 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 to thank through the generosity of our sponsors, Li Kam Ke, who is represented here today, by Maria Chung, and details will be announced later uh, um, when we go into our lucky draw. Okay, so really, with with nothing more to 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 add, except that I hope you will enjoy this virtual gathering, and that we'll be out of lockdown soon and return to some normality. Okay, so thank you again for coming, and can I now invite Councillor Lu to to say a few words. Okay. Councillor Lu. Uh, yes. Professor Janice Neo, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Today is the 
工会发财。So, uh, actually, today is the last day of the first month of the Chinese New Year of the Ox. So, Ox in Chinese culture indicates strength, diligence, resilience, and perseverance, uh, which will, of course, bring you competence and resulting good harvest. So, first of all, wish all of you a very healthy and a prosperous year of the ox. We wonder for the past year, we had a hard time. The COVID-19 has caused so much trouble to everybody. And, but I'm, anyhow, I'm glad to notice, to see that Mingai, together with other Chinese community associations, have joined their hands together to help each other. Not only to help the Chinese, but also help people of all ethnic groups. And I'm also glad to see that the online events or lectures of the Mingai still continues. The embassy support your efforts to fight against the virus and continue the promotion of the Chinese culture. We say the virus knows no border or risk. It's the enemy of the mankind. And the lesson we learn is that only by working collaboratively together, by cooperation between different ethnic groups and especially between different countries, can we get the virus under control? We will build a better global community for mankind only by more exchanges and cooperation. I think life will return normal sooner or later. As we have the Chinese saying, 不经历风雨, 怎能见彩虹? So let's just work together and we will meet again. Thank you and wish you enjoy a very happy celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Liu. Okay. Can I now call upon um, the, the mayor of uh, Herringay, Councillor Adam Joji? Good morning. I hope you can all hear me. Greetings yes, uh, from uh, Hornsey. <clears throat> My name's Adam Jogi and I'm the mayor of Haringa. Uh, and I can hear myself speaking back, <laughs> which is slightly random. Now, I'm, I'm very grateful for the kind invitation to attend Ming Ai's annual spring festival today. And it's a pleasure for me to join you all this morning and say a few words of greeting. Uh, the virtual world we live in means that we are unable to be together um, uh, today and indeed since my election as mayor in October 2020 most of my engagements have been virtual which is a matter of some regret but we must of course continue to adhere to the public health guidelines and the arrival of the vaccine and the fact that so many local people here in Haringey um, are taking the vaccine and therefore protecting themselves and the rest of us is a hopeful sign and one that we must all celebrate. The last year has been like no other in living memory, and so whatever we can do to move on and get through this crisis must be done, and we all have a responsibility to do so. Rather like spring as a season, the green shoots of recovery we can see around us must be grasped with both hands and by all of us. That's why this Spring Festival is so important. It brings us together and it helps provide us with the fuel we need to move on and seize the future. And I too join uh, Councillor Liu in wishing you all a very happy year of the Ox. The values of strength, resilience and perseverance have been so very much needed in recent months and so many people across our world have demonstrated each of them in uh, abundance. The need for strong and strengthened relations between Britain and China has never been more important than now. And that means that we all together need to be honest, open and respectful to each other and with each other. I'm delighted that the Institute does so much to bring people together, to open minds and hearts and share cultures, customs 
and understanding. And the fact that the Institute is based here in Haringey is a massive, huge pride for me. And I know countless local people from all communities and in all parts of our borough. And as the Institute, sorry, as the Institute approaches its 30th birthday in the next couple of years, just a little bit younger than me, I'm delighted to be here and to join you all this morning. I hope to welcome as many of you to the Mayor's Parlour as possible when the rules allow. Unfortunately, I won't be able to stay for the whole session, but I will stay for as long as possible. Uh, but I do wish you all good luck and send my warmest regards to you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lord Mayor. Um, and um, can I now invite um, Professor Nick Beach to say a few words from Middlesex University? Uh. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, I was delighted when uh, Professor, Professor Jonathan Liu invited me to be part of this celebration. As you know, um, Professor Liu is a very eminent professor in the field of business, and it's also the field that I work in. So I was um, privileged to, to, to be invited. And you may also know that um, Mingai is, of course, a partner of Middlesex University. And it's Middlesex University where I'm the Vice Chancellor. Uh, Mingai, I think, is uh, an absolutely exemplary partner for the university. It's one of our oldest partnerships and one of our most fruitful. Uh, the work that goes on in terms of heritage, of cultural exchange and mutual understanding is hugely important to us. And in Middlesex, we have around 350 Chinese students uh, and we benefit very much from their contributions to the university community and uh, to our, our broadening of understanding and our deepening of understanding. As the other speakers have said, it's clearly been uh, a very challenging year for, for all of us. Um, and I think it's in times of challenge like this that uh, cultural understanding and cultural connections are utterly fundamental for us. And, and uh, Professor Liu was quite right in saying, of course, all of our activities are limited, um, but nonetheless, seeking some areas of beauty, of aesthetic outcomes, and uh, alongside the important parts of business are really important for all of us. So uh, on behalf of Middlesex University, I'm very grateful uh, to Ming Ai for the work that you're doing. Uh, we really value this partnership. I'm, I'm enormously grateful to uh, to everybody to invite us along. And the last thing I would like to say is alongside the year of the ox and what we've heard about strength and resilience and honesty, these things being really important to uh, enable us to ultimately thrive as we come out of our current situation. Um, Ming Ai is also founded on the basis of uh, faith and of engagement and involvement in a in a broad sense and i think that is the other thing that i would put alongside strength and resilience if we have faith we can also have hope and then we can act positively and mingai has been fantastic in doing that in a collegiate collaborative way uh, so i was delighted to be invited delighted to be part of this process uh, more than that i do hope uh, that we can continue to work as we come out of this pandemic together so uh, a very happy new year to everybody and I look forward to the, the next steps of what we'll be doing. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Nick Beach. Okay. So can I ask Maria to say a few words and then to introduce our lucky draw with prizes kindly donated by Digam K. Okay, Maria. Hello everyone, I'm Maria. And I've been um, living in London for almost 10 years by now. And uh, I started very early working with uh, Chung Wan of Ming Ai in this uh, very valuable project of the Fun School Project, promoting healthy Chinese cooking to secondary schools around the country. And I would, uh, I can say this is one of the best uh, social responsibility initiative of Lee Kum Ki in the UK and even counting in Europe. Because it's, it actually has actualizes our mission of promoting the beautiful Chinese culinary culture around the world. So apart from selling sauces to everyone here, 
actually promoting the cuisine itself is one of our major missions. And uh, I think in the past few years, we have reached out to over 200 schools and thousands of students and food teachers. Uh, surely we have a very uh, great partnership working with Ming Ai, who is uh, so professional in delivering this uh, initiative and supporting this meaningful project. So um, we hope uh, in this journey of discovery for British consumers, students, about the beauty of Chinese cuisines and the healthy Chinese cooking, we can make a footprint in the food culture and culinary development in the UK. So thank you for the partnership and may I wish you all again, Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. Uh, Millie, over to you. You can be 
design the future. Live all your years for power to this Come together. Come out from your corner, no doubt to join us. You can decide the future. Devote your youthful power to this world. Come together, hand in hand together. I know you do. We pray and believe that tomorrow will be better. Hello, distinguished guests and friends of Mingai. Happy New Year to you all. I wish you the year of ox will bring you luck, peace, and happiness. My name is Azalea Qinglei. I'm so proud to become the volunteer for Life in the Time of Corona Oral History Project. I'm touched by each individual of their stories and inspired by their courage and determination to overcome the difficulties during the lockdowns. To me, this invaluable experience will remain in my heart for many years to come. Stian Chlivego, Novego Roku, and Bluide Neweda. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. And um, being involved in the Life and Time of Corona project has been really fascinating this year. And um, to hear such incredible stories, but also get to work with volunteers from all over the country. And I think really important that we're able to record um, this history of the British Chinese community. And um, the fact that we're able to do this online is something really hopeful has come out of a difficult year for everyone. 大家好，我叫周莎，来自武汉，是活在新冠蔓延时项目的志愿者。祝大家新年快乐 ！Hi， 我系 Pauline。英国喺过去呢一年嚟，大部分时间都系 lock down 紧，但系我好开心能够喺呢一段咁艰难嘅日子之中，有机会参加呢一个咁有意义嘅 project。Hi everyone! Happy New Year 2021. To record the story of Brett Chinese during the lockdown period is very meaningful, because every oral history is a vivid historical representative of a fragment of Chinese people living in foreign countries. When listening to your stories, we、we'll、let you talk, let you think, let you reflect. Together, we、we'll、talk it through. Together we get it through. Tomorrow we meet, chat, and hug. Tomorrow we'll be better. Whenever we are in front of a group of students, we always ask them this question. Do you think Chinese food is healthy? And then we get a mix of answers from them, or sometimes they all look quite unsure. And then we carry on and ask them if they've cooked Chinese food before, and they tell us that they usually order it from Deliveroo or Uber Eats instead. Takeaway food in general, not just Chinese food, isn't the healthiest option for a meal. Let me share this with you. Chinese food can be healthy for everyone. It's just that maybe we don't know where to start or how to make it healthier. I'd like to present to you the Fun HCCA project, which is led by Ming Ai London Institute, in partnership with Li Kam Ki. We've been delivering free Chinese cookery workshops to schools across the UK, sharing with the future generations a skill of a lifetime that also encompasses lessons that's relevant to the exam board. 
What we share with the students is just how easy it is to cook their own stir fry. And they're all given the freedom to present their dish using their creativity and the flexibility of choosing their favorite vegetables to cook. The FUN project also offers teacher training workshops to UK food teachers, where we share different types of Chinese recipes, and they all have the opportunity to learn how to make them. This helps them to gain the confidence and knowledge to be able to teach Chinese cooking to the lessons. This workshop has been held across different parts of the country. We've been to London, Manchester, and even all the way to Newcastle. And there is a competition element to it. So every year, a group of finalists will have a cook-off challenge in Mingnai, where they compete with each other to see who could make the best Chinese dish among all. And for four consecutive years, a total of 12 winners have won a culinary trip to Hong Kong. We had to postpone our 2020 grand final though, due to the pandemic. And in order for us to be able to carry out the competition safely, for the very first time, we held our grand final online. So a total of seven finalists took part in this year's grand final, where they compete with each other by presenting their recipes with a team of home-cooked dish inspired by Lee Kam Kee sauces. It's a bit of a shame that we aren't really able to taste the dishes behind the screens because all of them look so tasty. It's been an eye-opening experience to see what the finalists could achieve in home cooking. For this year, we've also launched the Fun Alumni Club, which is a growing community of food teachers who were past and current winners of our grand finals. With their background in food education, as well as their support for our project, they are able to take part in the development of Fun HCCA by providing us with valuable feedback. Their contribution also allows them priority access to future events and workshops organized by us. The FUN project also currently provides an online support pack for schools. Despite restrictions, the FUN team continues to reach out to schools and teachers. The videos include step-by-step -step cooking of some of our classic recipes, like hoisin chicken for example. We've also included some presentation videos for students which they've always enjoyed getting to know more about different Chinese regional cuisines and culture. Our partnership with Lee Kam Kee has really allowed us to be able to support the classes by delivering the sauce ingredients to schools, just like how the fun team would hand carry the sauces to the workshop in the past. And with these resources, teachers are then able to plan their lessons for their students, whether it's for a live cooking demo or in a classroom setting. We also offer these packs to the children of key workers who are still attending schools during lockdown. And this is just one of our ways to show our support and appreciation to the staff during such difficult times. Since the start of the project, we've received such positive response from teachers and students, which is very invaluable for our project. And this has been such a rewarding experience for our team as we continue to promote healthy Chinese eating and inspiring students and teachers to learn how to cook more Chinese food. If you'd like to find out more about our project and the works that we're doing, please do give our social media a follow. Hello everyone, I'm Betty Yao. Wish you a happy and healthy Year of the Ox. This year more than ever, good health is the most important thing. Thanks to Ming Ai, I'm here to tell you about a very interesting award. The Yankee So Memorial Award for Food Writers on Asia is a bursary for the winner to travel to Asia to undertake research on their cookery book project. Yankee So was a multi-award winning cookery writer who loved to travel. This is a great opportunity for any serious first-time cookery writers to apply. Terms and conditions, as well as the application form, are on this link, which Ming Ai is happy to post into the chat room. And please do tell your friends and help spread the word. Thank you so much and have a great year. Oh.
明爱学院的老师、同学们，大家好，我是邱增慧。在新年到来之际，我在此衷心的祝福大家平平安安、健健康康，新年快乐，牛年大吉！我为大家演奏一首《友谊地久天长》，祝大家新年快乐。祝福大家，牛年大吉！
窗外的雪地里，我见到一只很小很小的青蛙，眨巴一只眼睛，另一只眼圆睁睁，一动不动。I know this is God. He just appears in front of me, only looking at me to see if I take the lesson. He uses one eye to talk with me, one eye to talk with me. When God talks to humans. He doesn't want to hear his voice. 我也毫不奇怪，似乎就应该这样，仿佛上帝原来就是只青蛙。那一只聪明的圆眼睛，一眨不眨。It is really kind that he should deign to gaze upon this wretched human being. Me. He 另一只眼眼皮一张一合，在讲人类无法懂得的语言。Whether I understand or not is not God's concern. 我尽可以以为这眨动的眼皮中。也许并没有什么意义 ，but its significance could lie precisely in its not having meaning. 没有奇迹 ，there are no miracles. God is saying this, saying this to this insatiable human being, me. 那么还有什么可追求的？我问他。周围静悄悄的，雪落下来，没有声音。我有点诧异这种平静。天堂里就这么安静。And there is no joy. Joy is related to anxiety. 
只落着雪。我不知我此时身在何处，我不知道天堂里这片土地又从何而来。我四周环顾。I don't know that I don't understand anything. I still think I know everything. Things just happen behind me, and there is always a mysterious eye. So it is best for me just to pretend that I understand, even if I don't. While pretending to understand. I still don't understand. The fact of the matter is, I comprehend nothing. I understand nothing. This is how it is.佛在灵山莫远求，灵山只在汝心头。人人有个灵山塔，好像灵山塔下修。大家好，我是秋水环碧的王莹，我是秋水环碧的莫非。From the 5th of May, Chiu Shui Huan Bi and Ming Ai London Institute will start a new course focusing on the book *Journey to the West*, which is a Chinese classical literature masterpiece with a lot of secrets. We welcome you to join the journey to seek the Soul Mountain of our own heart, to discover our own secrets. At last, we wish you all the best in this year. And looking forward to seeing you in the near future. 
dear distinguished guests, friends, teachers, and my fellow students. First of all, let me wish everyone a very happy, healthy, and a nice new year of Ox. As a president of Ming'ai Alumni Association, I do hope that every member of our association will try our best to promote our institute and introduce Chinese cultural heritage to our foreign friends and let them know more about Chinese culture, history, and the customs in order to understand each other more and develop our good relationship. As you know, the year of 2020 is a very difficult year for everybody. And we tried hard to fight the coronavirus. I trust that through our mutual efforts, we can finally win this battle soon and work and live normally again. I'm looking forward to that day. I hope every one of you and your family stay safe and well. Happy Chinese Spring Festival to you all. Thank you very much.大家好询问是否一切都平安在这春回大地之际耶稣基督进入人类历史耶稣基督没有留下我们做孤儿更有信心更有价值面对我们要遇到的挑战在大家的共同努力下能够战胜新冠状病毒
、自由、平安、喜乐中生活和工作。最后，祝祖国繁荣富强、国泰民安。愿天主教我们每一个人都能够健康、喜乐。祝大家新春快乐，主佑平安。